ஃபைவ் குட் மார்னிங் எவ்ரிபடி வெல்கம் டு ஸ்மார்ட் ஆக் யூ அப்படி நாட் டுடே டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் வித் மெனி ஆஃப் த திங்ஸ் சச் ஆஸ் ஹவு டு பிகின் வித் ஐஏஎஸ் யுபிஎஸ்சி ப்ரிப்ரேஷன் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணிப்பேக்காரு வில் பி ஹேவிங் மெனி டவுட்ஸ் அண்ட் கன்ஃபியூஷன் ரிகார்டிங் யுபிஎஸ்சி எக்ஸாம்ஸ் லைக் ஹவு டு ஸ்டார்ட் ஒட் ஆர் த இஸ் தேர் எனி ரிக்வயர்மெண்ட் டு ஸ்டார்ட் ஹேக் ஷுரு மாடுபேக்கு அந்த சிக்க சுமார் கொஷன்ஸ் இருக்கு லைக் பட் ஒன் மஸ்ட் பி கிளியர் வித் சம் வியூஸ் ஆக்சுவலி ஃபஸ்ட் டு பிகின் வித் how to begin with ias this is the common question everybody has what it takes to become an ias or what is the that requirement we have to fulfill to become an ias and why we have to choose ias where other choose madabodu athwa ias ya choose madabeku anadakke one particular reason beku adu what is is there any requirement athwa ias preparation shuru madadakke is there any pre requisites athwa enar specific preparation antidya and why many of the people start with the Uh, like fear for this examination yaak bhaya padtara yenakke hedru koltare why many of the people will not take this examination and ias and takshana you know it's a big exam and one aura irutte why it is like that yaak athara irutte athwa it is like everybody says that we have to study everything under the sun poorthi odbeku ellado tilkobeku ellado odbeku anna kelavaru heltare or yav thara eshtu marks ke exam irutte no college days alli exam ididdukku athwa ee thara civil services examination tagolbekadre ಅದಕ್ಕೂ ಇರ್ತ ಅದಕ್ಕೂ ಮತ್ತು ಇದಕ್ಕೂ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸ ಏನು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಏನಂತ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಇದೆಯಾ ಅಥವಾ ಡು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ತೊಗೋಬೇಕು ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಡು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪೇ ಫಾರ್ ಮಚ್ ಮನಿ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ತೊಗೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬ ಸುಮಾರು ದುಡ್ಡು ಖರ್ಚಾಗತ್ತಾ ಈ ಥರ ಹೌ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಮೋಟಿವೇಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೈ ದಟ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅದು ತುಂಬ ಪ್ರೊಲಾಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಕೆಲವರು ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಆರ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ಅವಧಿಗಳ ಕಾಲ ಡು ವಿ ರಿಯಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೇ ಮೋಟಿವೇಟೆಡ್ ಆ ಮೋಟಿವೇಷನ್ನ ಕಾಪಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮೋಟಿವೇಷನ್ನು ಅಥವಾ ಮೋಟಿವೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಬೇಕೇ ಬೇಕಾ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ವೈ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ವಿ ಶಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸೊ ವಿ ಶಿಲ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಶಿಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದ ಬೆಂಚ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಟು ಬಿಗಿನ್ ಬರ್ ವಿ ಶಿಲ್ ಗೋ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಹೌ ಟು ಬಿಗಿನ್ ವಿತ್ ಎನ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟಬಲ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಜಾಬ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡನ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಮೋಟೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ Indian Administrative Service, IAS abbreviation is called IAS abbreviation, it's a service, it's not, it's not a profitable job. IAS is you know, one prestigious position, or one administration, that is not the thing here. It is that we have to serve the people, we have to serve the society, we have to serve the nation, that is our due responsibility. This intention is very important. It's very important. And uh, for this, coming to the preparation part, I will just speak about IAS later on. Coming to the preparation part, Estrogena aspirants, they confuse, there is a, there is, there is a much confusion that IAS exam is not there. There is nothing called as IAS examination. That examination is called as Civil Service Examination. We call it as CSC. We call it as we call it as cse civil service examination so ias examination or ips examination anta yavudu illa it is an examination called cse civil service examination kelu innu heltare there is an examination called upsc no there is no nothing called as upsc examination upsc is a body it is a constitutional body it is a autonomous body it is a independent body which conducts examination to various kind of services in the country so it conducts national level examination for various services for various services across the country adrally cs is a one kind of examination and that is called as civil service examination and it can and this examination gives recruitment for various services across the country like iis ips irs or ifs 
ಅವರ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟಲ್ ಸರ್ವೀಸ್ ಈ ಥರ ಒಂದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟಿವ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ರೆವೆನ್ಯೂ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಈ ಥರ ಟು ಮೇ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ಗೆ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವಿಚ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಅಲೋಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಕ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಾನು ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಐ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಎಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ಡರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆರ್ ಅಟೋನಾಮಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಅಬ್ರಿವೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸೊ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನಿಂದ ಆಚೆ ಬರಬೇಕು ಯು ಐ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಗಾಟ್ ಟು ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಹೂ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಯಾವೆಲ್ಲ ರೋಲ್ಸಿಗೆ ರೆಕ್ರೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಬಿಗಿನ್ ವಿತ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಆಸ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅನ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಆಸ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅನ್ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈವನ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಡಿಸರ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸನ್ ಕಮ್ ಟ್ರೂ ವಿತ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಬಿಗಿನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕೀ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ we always say that a good plan is half done i meant to say that preparation is a key point in upsc so how you prepare how you become uh, to become an ias that is very most important so the thing is that you need to have a good plan for your career and you need to have a good clarity crystal clarity of thought why you have to become an, uh, a civil servant of india if you have if you want money more if you want more money you would have joined a business or something like some other jobs which give which fetch you more money but here it's completely service it is a work which has to be done with certain motto it to serve the society or to transform the nation so the thing is that this is a big vision than everything so this is this position attracts many people to come over here and serve the nation because this platform provides many more opportunities which any other platform can't do so here we have opportunity to serve many people as many people you want in the country and you will be recruited through many services like ias panchayat zilla panchayat officers district collectors directors board of directors and even as uh, departmental heads parliamentary secretaries something like that ಇಷ್ಟೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಷ್ಟೆಲ್ಲ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಯು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಾನಿಮಸ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ತುಂಬ ದೊಡ್ಡದಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಮುಗಿಸೋದಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್
that means you should use the judicious time of your graduation because now the trend has been changed before people used to do IAS in the age of 24, 25 even they used to carry out till 30 but the now things have changed people are cracking in the very first attempt after their graduation the best example is the, the girl from Delhi that is Tina Davi she cracked IAS examination in first year at the age of 22 first attempt first rank unbelievable so how well she planned or preparation how soundly she prepared for the UPSC examination is very important. So with this perspective, the things have been changing. People start to prepare for UPSC examination since from the first year of graduation or even from 11th or 12th classes. So see where competition, that competition is getting tougher and tougher every day. So with this intention, you need to prepare early, too early. I meant to say that at least in the age of 18 or 19. Everybody know that time is valuable and time is precious. So just don't wait to uh, get your degree completed. Degree admin martini, master's complete admin, admin try martini. Try martha martha martsi at the age of when you complete your master's, it will be at least 23 or 24. And you need to search a job, you need you have financial commitments, financial independent act dreams. At that time, if you face like this type of examination, it seriously it's going to create a big hurdles for your life because it takes at least two to three years of preparation. So even people have cracked within first attempt also, but they first attempt they have they'll be just preparing from two to three years in the later pass. So prepare first attempt clear At least you need two to three years to complete the entire syllabus. So seeing the magnanimity of the syllabus. So start your preparation. What my suggestion is start your preparation from degree it seems. Start your preparation from for degree. At least if you can spend three to two to three hours each day in your graduation, you'll be able to complete each and every syllabus within three years. So that you can give me give a first attempt after the degree and you can crack it in very first attempt. So this is my humble suggestion for all of you people. Yara degree Martha make sure that you are starting preparation if you have desired to become an IAS. Second thing have complete knowledge about competitive examinations means not only IAS at the case and Tala, you the examination phase smart of a cadre have complete knowledge about the syllabus. So, what, is, what are the stage of the examination and the structure of the examination and the marks in the latter? So, how many papers you have to write, how many marks are allocated to each paper, and what is the strategy in a particular subject? What are the techniques or what are the guidance we have to take from the uh, mentors? Make sure that all, all, are, all these things are with you. Having complete knowledge is really a good plan. If you just move out in vague, I want to just become an IAS. I have desires, but if you don't have a complete knowledge to fulfill that particular desire, it will become miserable. Life will become pathetic because, because this examination can turn your life. Even it can just move out in you other way. Now, the examination make sure that you are committing to this examination with some certain discipline and dedication and even determining the things become very important for this kind of examination so particularly i'm stressing that so you need to study the complete syllabus of the examination and you need to take at least guidance with anybody coaching coaching is not coaching is necessary or coaching is not or can be prepared by your own anta i just clear it later but Anyhow, you have to know the complete knowledge regarding competitive examination. Okay. And be clear in your thought process. I want to say that estrogen, you know, Manal just your parents want you to become an IES. Or your friend said that you just become an IES. That is not required here. That Appa Eltare, Amma Eltare, friend said Eltare. I just want that administrative power, I want that prestigious position, that will not become. You need to have a clear thought process that you have, why you have to become an IAS. You need to have an agenda. For example, if, if you become a district collector, what transformation you can bring to the country? What service you can provide to the nation? Today we say that India is a victim of policy paralysis. Like policy paralysis means Indians are good policy makers not good policy implementers I mean that somewhere that execution part is missing or policy implementation is not 
happening in a proper way so why that policy implementation is not happening in a proper way is that the problem of bureaucracy or the ias of ias the ks officers kadinda aagtartakkanta problem we have to analyze that things and make our commitment that we will surely bring that to that policy implementation will be going in a proper way that we can serve the entire nation because government allocates a huge amount of money to the to serve the people with the intention of socially and economic backward classes na mundu tarbeku anteli government ni allocate so much of money why that money is not coming to the people there are some big big issues in the society which are bringing very which are creating many problems so ee problems na aache tarodaga we need to analyze the things and we need to make the commitment before we start our preparation so i will bring this i will create some uh, le- uh, uh, legacy in the in this field i will just try for the uh, to bring people out of poverty i will try to provide education to each and every child i will assure that health is a fundamental right of everybody so with this type of commitment you should be clear that why i have to become an ias not at least administrative power by co i just want to roam in cars i just want to have a beacon on my car and just i want people people to salute me this is this doesn't make you ias seriously speaking this doesn't make you ias because ias need some commitment some service motto and something heart and soul to bring transformation in the country okay coming to the stage of examination okay i will tell you something about today here i am going to discuss about strategy what are all strategy stages of examination and as well as how to approach so as a beginner okay, what are all the requirements you have to make i don't know anything i just want to become an is you felt that I have a service motto i have a good intention and i have a urge to transform the nation i want to sacrifice sacrifice my life to the country so you have all the good intention but how to begin with a beginner get a problem and so with this problem i'm going to give all the answers for the persons who have this problem in common okay don't worry i am i just explain the stages of examination in brief so that you have the clarity regarding the examination and it will also make you to understand why you have to become ias i'll help you in both of these things and at last we can go for approach and at least from today at the end of today's session you have to begin with the you have begin with your preparation that okay this is the thing what i have to begin with and this is the requirements what i have to begin with you should having should have, you should be having some clarity regarding these things and this webinar will help you in this way so that you must you can start your preparation from the tomorrow morning itself okay okay first coming to the stages of examination i just want to clear you pc examination everybody every people have in their mind so my request is so what is that what are all the stages of examination so one do you have three stages of examination one is preliminary examination and other one is mains examination and other one is personality examination where preliminary examination antandra it is multiple choice mcq style after like puc you have you have, you have attended kcet or you, have, you may be attended neat or kwe you will be finding some mcqs right you'll be picking one one among the right option and taking out the right uh, eliminating the other options same it is very sub objective subjective in nature okay you have that prelims preliminary part so second is mains examination where you'll be writing where it is ob- subjective in nature where it is objective it is objective type or mcqs here it is subjective means you'll be going for writing like uh, you write in the sem- semester examinations you have written in the board examinations like where some marks have been allocated to put them particular subjects you'll be writing for gaining the marks that's about main examination and personality test means it is a interview type it's a interview type so prelims examination only there is a two papers one is general studies and other one is csat general studies say general studies are you are going to study about his subjects like history 
geography, economy, polity. I mean, this even though I have engineering, I have some science background in the Bandir, commerce background in the Bandir, some people, some, people, some people may come from technical background also. I have studied these subjects in your high schools. Same 10 stand, up to 10 stand, you studied like 10 stand, like you have studied history, geography, economy, polity. Okay. So you all know about history. These are the four pillars for general studies actually. So history means you know that you really the things like past, like uh, there are three types of history, modern history, ancient and medieval history, modern history and medieval history. So ancient history, you study about uh, the kings, the kingdoms, dynasties and all these things. And also regarding the civilization, modern history means we are going to study about freedom movement and all. So history arts, all of you have studied about until 10th standard. And geography as all of you know, we, know, we will study regarding planet system, solar system, volcanoes, uh, mountains, oceans, rivers, reefs, valleys, everything we will study in geography. And economy means how the financial market is available in the society, how the market flow, how the transaction has been about or how the oh, budget has been allocated, how the monetary policy is there. Like money related matters you will be studying in economy and the political structure like how the government runs, how government has been created and how the nation as a uh, whole runs and what type of administration we give to ourselves. This is all regarding politics. This is the stuff, basic stuff regarding the these four subjects. We are going to study all these subjects in general studies in the first paper including general science and technology general science all of you know and also technology part which comes in current affairs so plus current affairs current affairs means contemporary issues contemporary issues which comes in daily newspapers which you see what is all going around us dinanitya belagada prachalita vindya vidyamanagalu anta karithive nam suttamutta ye nadiyutta what are the issues are going on? Yao scheme bartha da, government in bartha da, what type government of the uh, is, what type of schemes is government launching, what type of report is government giving. So we all study in current affairs. So this all makes a part of general studies. Okay. Next is CSAT. CSAT and the civil service aptitude test and the. So this year we are going to like uh, general mental ability, logical reasoning, decision making, uh, uh, analytical ability, basic numeracy, some some amount of mathematics also we we apply here, and mathematics, mental ability, intelligence, as well as decision making capabilities are are checked in this paper. He paper only first paper has got 200 marks, and second paper has got 200 marks. First paper is a qualifying paper. Second paper is a mandatory paper. Illi new tagyanta score man it checks your qualification whether you qualify or not. Like 200 this is 33% you have to score in second paper. And that's C sat that mandatory paper. Illi we score other help. Just you need to gain 33% or 66 marks out of 200 marks. 200. But first paper rate 200 marks can be best to the new qualify after all one on the decide mother. Example, you got 105 you know, cut off example cut off length for the two first paper should be more than 105 or 105. Second paper you need to qualify this. This is a mandatory paper. If first paper fail, I you are not able to gain that 33 percent. You are ultimately failed. So you need to pass in this first second paper by getting 66 marks or 33 uh, percent and you need to score in first paper. I meant to say that you should be at least above 110 marks according to the recent cutoff study madhidra at least you have to be more than 110 marks in the general studies paper. This is regarding prelims examination and prelims examination is all will be always in the format of MCQs. Maybe this or maybe this. Okay. Coming to the mains examination, it consists of nine papers. Hydrally, first paper, there are two language papers. One is one is English paper, mandatory English, another one is regional paper. Like none, I can take Kannada, I can take Urdu, I can take Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, any sub, any language which which you have done in your tenth and tenth level. But first paper, another paper will be English. So these two papers are just mandatory papers. Year paper only new model score it will not count to the final marks. 
it is just paper you have to just pass with some certain marks in the first and second paper of languages but from year essay till optional paper each and every mark counts otherly first paper is essay here you have to write two essay or it sometimes it may be even one essay it was in before but in the present times you have to write two essay eight essays will be given out of eight essay you have to write two essay one each essay for 125 marks are getting what i am saying each essay for 125 marks so you are writing two essay for 250 mark to, to uh, 250 marks and this essay paper marks will be added to your merit list and other four or general studies papers general studies 1 2 3 4 year you are going to study again the issues related to history geography economy polity and along with that you are going to also study the subjects like social issues social justice international relations internal security disaster management environment ecology and bio biodiversity and also some part of science and technology you are going to study all these papers in this three papers gs 1 2 3 and gs 4 paper it's something special paper it is called as ethics integrity and aptitude paper e paper alli something is a unique paper here you are as a qualities of civil servants is checked here the uh, knowledge or what you have read or what you have gained what type of knowledge you have it is checked in all the, and what type of language you have it is all checked in this papers but this paper makes a unique feature in upsc examination where the quality of upsc aspirant is checked other what do you have how honest you are what type of uh, conscience you have what type of responsibility you have how, how much transparency you are how accountable you are to the government what type of a uh, law and order implement law and order implementation you can make in your service so these type of qualities are checked in this paper so this paper is something like personality development uh, alternatively you can call it as a personality development paper so you uh, will be writing this paper idralli eradu tara baruthu ondu will be writing the uh, questions question and answers and second part you will be answering case studies ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಈ ಥರದ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಗೆ ದಿ ವಿಲ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಎ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕೋಟ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಕೇಪಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ಲಿ ಚೆಕ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಪೇಪರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನೀವು ಯಾವ್ದು ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೂ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಲೈಕ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಸರ್ಟೈನ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚೂಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಶೇರ್ ದ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಇಷ್ಟು ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಚೂಸ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುಯೇಷನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನಲ್ ವೆರಿ ವೈಸ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನ ವೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಸರ್ವೀಸಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ದೇ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಚೂಸ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವೇಗ್ಲಿ without analyzing the things or without knowing the subject properly they'll just pick up the subject which even though they don't know it and then they start to read better to choose the subject which is uh, which you have read in your graduation or masters you know munchane degree nal madidin subject ana athwa masters nal madidin subject na tagolodu thumba olle olle to it's a big good decision because you will be knowing the facts you have read that subject for, for 3 to 5 years you be having entire knowledge regarding that particular subject so it's better to choose that optional which you have done in your graduation so your end half of the burden reduces in the upsc preparation so select your option very wisely so that is my humble suggestion for you people so you will be selecting one subject and you will be sharing it in two papers like paper 1 optional paper 1 and optional paper 2 so optional paper 1 and optional paper 2 both both carries uh, 500 marks like 250 marks each so you can it makes a good chunk here so out of this the scoring papers are essay is a very good scoring paper optional papers are very good scoring paper and even the special paper like gs4 it's also a good scoring paper because in this four papers people score more than 150 in each paper so when you score more than 150 uh, if you are able to score like 150 150 150 it's it goes around uh, 600 so which makes a huge chunk to come you in the to come you in the merit list so concentrate on these papers when you start to prepare this particular subjects 
but how to prepare the subjects we'll just upload a new video for each paper like how what is the strategy what is the approach or what type of preparation you can make for essay papers or optional papers or even for gs4 papers but today we are just briefing the entire syllable so that a beginner should know that how he can prepare as a fresher or how to begin with what type of papers are the uh, these are this is the intention of this today's lecture okay and coming to the personality test last interview interview is conducted in delhi when you qualify mains examination when cut off one bandaga ni waste marks tagidra on the base mele they will give a cut off but they will not announce your marks in the mains examination they just leave a cut off or you just uh, release a uh, register numbers where you will get to know that you are qualified mains examination or not but if you know if you know uh, if you want to know the marks exactly what you have got you have to wait till may mean that until the ex- entire examination process get all uh, completed at the end purti examination like prelims or mains or interview purti mugud mele at the end of the stage you will get to you will get your results that how much you have scored like what type of uh, scores have been allotted to you but illi ee mains examination mugud mele when mains examination gets completed you the register uh, numbers are uh, given in the website that you will get to know we have qualified for personality test or not so when you qualify for personality test personality test is will be conducted in delhi and 275 marks will be allotted for personality test so out of 275 how much you get like mere uh, final merit list merit list or final agna select aaglike how much you are getting personality test plus how much you have scored in mains mains means this two papers are just qualifying they are not they the anywhere 250 250 tagudru kuda ni aa marks na mere merit list ge add madalla so out of this papers essay paper four gs papers and two optional papers how much you have got that will be carried to the merit list i mean that mains marks plus personality test marks interview marks that makes your merit list so at the end of the personality test you will get your merit you get you you get your uh, card like how well you have got uh, will be you will be in placed in the services so finally again personality test it's all about attitude how what what type of attitude you are how fit you are to become an ias and a panel of upsc members of interview panel will judge your capability to become an ias what type of attitude you are they will ask like practical problems which are going around the is going around the you know, world or country and they will make you to address those problem what type of opinions you have regarding that particular problems or what type of service you can give to the nation these are all checked in the ultimate upsc preparation so here with this type of procedure personality test gets end up for 275 marks and out of that 275 marks how much you have been uh, got that will be carried out to the merit list adding with the main season and will be placed in the merit order so it's all about preparing for an entire year in example if the examination starts in june first week if the examination starts in june first week the result is going to come for may end i mean that you are you are writing the examination for whole year andre one june in the start madidra until may the examination bariyode agata like you will be facing uh, prelims in the june and mains in the of the october and interview in the end of jan or february and you'll get your final result in the may so the entire one year program is designed for making you to write or face the examination so the entire you in degree lang agata a degree or a pc or a masters mana kan you will be having a schedule for examination where you face the examination hardly for one week or 10 days or even 15 days but here the examination schedule is for one year for one facing that one year you, are, you are at least you have to prepare for one on one and a half year to two years before entering before giving your exam i mean that if you want to become an ias officer in first attempt first attempt tell martin andre kuda if you start your preparation in degree If you, if you want to study a preparation if you study a preparation from first year degree so that first year degree will 
at least full if you it will take to build you build the fundamentals or cover the basic for the upsc preparation and for the second year you will get the time for reading the core books or revision purpose and third year you'll get to revise the all the stuffs which are which have been covered in these two years and at the end of and after giving your graduation exam you can face the uh, civil service examination in the june after you complete your graduation exam and you can write the examination thoroughly by preparing within this year so the intention of this webinar is to is you to prepare for uh, to clear in the first attempt like in the graduation time itself now degree oath tai dagle athwa even if you if you want to give in the examination just prepare for one year before you give this is what our intention is this is and we'll be uploading our videos for each and particular paper issues or even for analyzing question and answers to help you in your upsc upsc preparation so finally what else is required we got to know about what type of preparation we have and got to know about the syllabus brief uh, briefing of the syllabus stages of examination and syllabus app just explained in a brief that what type of papers uh, covers what type of syllabus and the next question is start with the perfect guidance so is that necessary to take a coaching or not that becomes a very important part for many aspirants as to you know like what is ias coaching affordable or do you have to spend that much for facing upsc uh, guidance this is the question for many of the people my answer is it is okay not to have coaching and it's okay to have a coaching but nowadays the technology has bought the cost lower and lower like you for in the beginning days you would have 300 rupees 1 gb charge martha now you will get 300 rupees 300 for for 300 rupees you will get 30 gbs so like that technology is bringing the cost down like we'll be uh, the online courses what we run will make you help to bring the same quality of education what people are getting in offline in the online mode at the at, at the very nominal cost so this videos will surely help for your preparation which is very affordable for you basically uh, coaching so what is that constant motive uh, motivation motivation it's not that we have to get from outside always it is a thing that we can even generate in ourselves like a or a desire can become a motivation and dream become a can become a motivation or a hunger can become a motivation or even a frustrations or insults what we have faced in our past life that be that that can become a motivation because this arena upsc arena or facing ias exam can your change your entire life you can serve the whole society by serving your your own self and your family so neevu kuda even even you can stand by your family and for yourself by standing with that particular a uh, part you can all serve you can also serve the whole nation or you can serve thousands of people so the constant motivation can come from any part like it can be inner self or outer or from the role models or from some books or from incidents whatever it may be but you have to keep that motivation until you clear that examination because more it's a long term pre- preparation like which consists of 2 to 3 years so for that 3 years you need to have a motivation which we even upload in our uh, website by interviewing some former bureaucrats and by explaining their experience by sharing their experiences with you people so that you need to keep your motiv- motivation by saying this if any questions you can ask thank you okay okay somebody is asking here do we have to read current affairs daily or is it possible if we read weekly okay and other question related to current affair is do we have to refer all the newspapers coming daily okay the thing is that current affairs makes a huge trend for upsc preparation and we we'll we do have a current affairs video who cannot read newspapers daily so we analyze the newspapers 
the answer is absolutely yes you we have to read current affairs daily because as a civil servant it is responsibility or as a civil service aspirant it is responsibility of you to know the facts which is going around us and it's your due responsibility to have a perception regarding those those issues so if something like uh, problems for women is going on in the like in shabrimala case which is a recent issue we need to know that what are the rights of the women and why discrimination is going against them and what type of rights they have in the constitution what they have and what type of problems they are facing this is a issue which is a responsibility of every aspirant to know so for knowing this type of particular issues this is our due responsibility to read current affairs current affairs it's just like a meal a day if you if you have breakfast in the morning you have lunch in the afternoon and you have supper in the night like that you need to at least have a daily routine to read a current affairs so many of you people face to read uh, the newspaper difficulty like you be getting doubts like what to read what facts to read how to remember and how to simplify these topics so many may many of you may not get that particular knowledge in the beginning itself so we do you we do help you in uh, preparing current affairs by analyzing the entire papers newspapers and we'll just upload a video what all the facts are implement uh, important and how we are simplifying all those facts in our daily current affairs analysis and even we provide daily notes for you for your revision also so this is the unique initiative of our uh, smart tech organization we provide current affairs daily and avast uh, the every uh, the very accepted newspaper uh, in upsc preparation is the hindu paper if you are able to read hindu paper daily and if you are able to uh, make simplification out of that it's well and good okay can i give exams even i am working okay many of the issues uh, many of the people face issues like they have the urge to become an ias or to get into civil services or in other uh, whether it is possible by working one person is asking so it is that just yes, observatively you can 